Welcome Virgo. This is Renee and welcome to my channel if you're new. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your likes and comments and uh, subscribing. I appreciate it so very much. Keep liking my videos, keep subscribing, um, share my videos, of course, if they resonate with you. And have a wonderful, wonderful new year. Okay, what's coming in for Virgo? Virgo, we are going to take a look at what your current energy is towards love. Of course, what's coming in for you. We're also going to take a look at your openness to receiving the love that's coming in. And we're going to take a look at any challenges you will face. And then we're going to take some advice. So let's get into this. Okay, what do we have for Virgo? January 1st through the 15th. What do we have for Virgo in love? What is Virgo's current energy? What is Virgo's current energy in love? Okay, we have friendship and union. And we have courage and bravery. At the bottom, we have romance and connection. Okay, Virgo. So, yeah, you definitely have love coming in. I feel like right now, though, I feel like you're really focused on um, just being with friends, just hanging out, just, you know, doing you at the moment, Virgo. I feel like you're having a good time. Um, but I do feel like you have to have courage and you have to put on a brave face for maybe the things that you're going through. Um, I'm really feeling like there is someone who's coming kind of at you at the moment. And it may be a family member. It may be a friend. But I'm, I'm really feeling like it's a family member. A family member is kind of coming for the throat right now. And I feel like that's kind of putting you in a certain mood. But I feel like, you know what, Virgo, this is just... I feel like it's not surprising to you. I feel like you've kind of been through this path before. So you're like, yeah, it is what it is, you know. This person is either jealous of you or really envious of your lifestyle. So they're coming at you for a certain reason. So don't get down on it, Virgo. Be your vivacious self. Always. Always. Okay, Virgo, we have the Eight of Wands. What other energies do we have? What's coming forward for Virgo in love for January 2023? Okay, we have the King of Swords. We have the Fool. Oh, wow. New exploration, new journey. New beginnings. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. What else do we have for Virgo? I see a lot of communication coming in for you, Virgo. Um, with this King of Swords energy. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Okay. Yeah, with this King of Swords energy, I feel like someone's definitely coming in to kind of get your attention they want to turn your head <laughs> and they want you to see them to notice them you have the three of swords okay yeah you 
you definitely probably went through some heartbreak and the Ten of Swords. So definitely, definitely you went through some heartbreak, um, Virgo. But I feel like with the with the Page of Wands, with your current energy, you know, I feel like with the Page of, of Swords, I mean, I feel like you're very curious what's out there. I feel like you're very curious to explore. You're very ambitious, especially when it comes to love. Um, I feel like you're, you know, Virgos are very social people. So I feel like you really put yourself out there. You really um, have a lot of interaction with people. And I'm really feeling like while you're doing that, I feel like you are turning heads. People are noticing you, Virgo. They're noticing you for your your free spirit and for your, you know, your vivacious attitude towards life. But I really feel like <clears throat> with this uh, Eight of Wands energy and this King of Swords, I really feel like this is someone who is going to move forward on you. Or this is someone that you're going to move forward to get to know with this King of Swords energy. This may be someone that you've already met, but um, I'm really feeling like this is a new person uh, with the King of Swords energy. I feel like you're... You're making your moves, Virgo, or they're making their moves on you. They want to know the secrets and the desires of Virgo. They want to know what makes Virgo tick. And I feel like this is something definitely brand new for you, Virgo, because you're, you're used to focusing on yourself. You're used to putting yourself, your needs um first and i feel like that's something brand new for you because i feel like you know in the past i feel like you have put other people before yourself so so much that you had forgotten how to put yourself first but i feel like you're doing that i feel like you're you're you know taking that leap to really take care of virgo really not worry about what anybody else thinks what anybody else has to say about your lifestyle about how you carry yourself or you know you socialize too much you know i feel like you're like <clears throat> yeah it is what it is but you know this is this is me accept me or don't i feel like you you're coming off with a very free spirit and mindset to where you're not going to accept anything that someone wants to say that's negative. You're not going to accept it. You're just going to disregard it. You're not going to accept it within yourself. Um, I feel like you're only giving to people who are giving you the same respect. If that makes sense, I feel like you're you're in this mood to where if, if you don't like me, oh, well, you know, I don't care. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care if you don't want to be around me. I'm only giving to people who give back to me the same way I give. And that's kind of the, the feeling that I'm getting from you. Virgo, <clears throat> but I, I believe it's paying off because with you putting yourself first, you're opening yourself up to new opportunities, new, you know, beginnings in love. And I, I feel it's, it's been a long time coming, but I feel like you're, if you're open to love, I feel like you want to move at your own pace. You want to take your time. You want to, you know, just kind of dwell in that feeling for a while before you move forward. I really feel like you are concentrating on 
whatever makes yourself happy. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing, Virgo, because, I mean, it's paying off. You have new love coming in. If you're single, you're going to have an abundance of love that's coming in from this person. This person sees you as someone who's very special, very free-spirited. You kind of go with the flow, but you have good priorities Virgo, you have a good heart. And this person sees everything in you. And I feel like they're kind of mirroring that um, reflection. I feel like this person that is coming into your life, this person has a good heart too. This person is also very loyal, is also very uh, relying on I, I believe that other people rely on this person. <clears throat> now, I'm not saying that it's a third party situation or anything like that, but I feel like this person that's coming into your life, I feel like this person has priorities that other people are dependent upon them. They may have children. Um, so this may be a situation to where... Um, if you decide to get together, it's going to be a blended family uh, or you're going to be a step parent to children because I, I feel like this person that's coming in, they're, they're taking care of someone very special and I believe it's children. And now I believe that, okay, Virgo, <clears throat> this could be you or this could be this other person, but... I feel like there's a lot of heartbreak in the past. And this person is looking for things to end. Things to come to closure. So that they can start all over. They're looking for a new beginning. Or you're looking for a new beginning. But they're, they're ready to walk away from this situation. And just put it to an end and start over have a new beginning, go on a new journey, you know? Spirit, what is this Ten of Swords, Ten, Three of Swords? What is this Ten of Swords, Three of Swords? What is this? Yeah, someone who is looking for a long-term relationship, just... The stability just wasn't there. It just wasn't stable enough to, to hold on. And I feel like whatever this was, if, if this was you, Virgo, I feel like this person, this, this person wasn't stable. They were too focused on themselves. They were very egotistical, nar narcissistic. You know, they were worrying about their own needs. But I feel like they charmed you. They were very charming. But, and I feel like they just didn't want any long-term stability. They were just looking to have fun. They were looking to... Be with you for that moment. Spirit, what is this Ace of Cups, Two of Cups situation? Is this going to be any different than the Three of Swords? Yes. Yes, it's going to be different. <clears throat> this person is going to be more trusting. You're going to be able to trust this person. And follow your heart in the situation. Definitely. Okay. So, yeah. Virgo, this person... This person is looking for healing. They're looking for... They're looking for love. They're looking for, you know, someone to 
spend their time with that's going to balance them, that's going to bring them a lot of hope and renewal. So this person is definitely different from the person that was left behind. This person is someone who's reliable. Definitely someone who can take control of the situation. Someone who wants to plan for the future. It may be an Aries. It may also be a Pisces. Scorpio. But I feel like this person that's coming into your life is definitely a total opposite of the person that you left behind. The person that you left behind was just not wanting the same things that you wanted. This person wants to look towards the future. They want to see things grow and expand. They want to take control of the situation. And they, they're also a good provider. They're also someone who you can totally rely on. Someone who's going to have the answers for you when you need them. Someone who's going to be there and be your rock when you need someone in your corner. Definitely a new beginning here. Beautiful energy. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Your challenge, Virgo, is getting past this hurt. Your challenge is getting past this hurt so that you can open yourself up for this new uh, relationship that's coming through. Um, getting out of those feelings of being stuck. That's your challenge. How can Virgo get through their challenge? How can they get through their challenge of being stuck, getting over the past? Yeah, definitely. The the Five of Cups. By releasing that energy. I'm going to put that over here because I don't want that over there. Yeah, you want to release that energy. Release the past, Virgo, so that you can move freely towards the future and, you know, be open to the situation that's coming through. What other advice do we have? The Ten of Wands. Yeah, not carrying any baggage into the new relationship. Kind of releasing your burdens, Virgo. Letting things go. I understand you have priorities and you have things that, you know, need to be handled. But as far as love goes, Virgo, I feel that releasing that, that energy, that stuck energy is going to be very helpful for you. And what's going to help Virgo get into this new situation? When is this new situation going to arrive? Four of Cups. It's going to come by surprise. It's going to come when you least expect it. Yes, the the Knight of Swords. It's going to come when you least expect it. You're, you're not seeing this coming. This is coming right at the nick of time. Um, but I, I feel like when it does come, Virgo, it's going to be very unexpected. It's, it's not something that you've seen coming in the king of cups so yeah this person is going to be very caring very wise it may be an older person as well they may be a year or two older than you but i feel like they're wise they're wise for the age maybe they act older than what they really are but I feel like this person has been through some things to where they have knowledge, they have empathy, they can kind of feel what you've been through. And the Knight of Cups. Okay. This person is gonna take you by surprise and they're gonna sweep you off of your off of your feet. Definitely. 
the, the way they care of themselves, the way that they take care of themselves, their attractiveness, their charm, they're going to sweep you off of your feet. Um, and like I said, they may, be, they may make a move on you, Virgo. They may be, they may have kind of seen you in passing and like, yeah, I want to get to know Virgo. Virgo is the kind of person I want in my life, you know? What advice do we have for Virgo? What advice do we have for Virgo in love? January 1st through the 15th. Listen to your intuition. Yes, the uh, High Priestess energy. Listen to your intuition, Virgo. Listen to what your inner soul is telling you. Your, your angels want to provide you with answers. Listen to your angels. And be assertive. Take action. That's what this Eight of Wands here. I, I feel like taking action on the situation is going to, you know, pull you into the right direction. This love interest with, you know, this emperor and this king of cups. This person is someone you do not want to pass by. And we have peaceful resolution. So, yeah, I feel like, <clears throat> Virgo, this person from the past, you're going to forgive them. And they may even try to come back in. But I feel like you're going to forgive them and let them go. You're, you're just going to send them on their way. You know, like, you know, I'm not going to hold a grudge. I'm not going to, you know feel anything bad towards you but you can be on your way i'm done i feel like you you are totally setting yourself free from this situation okay and a year from now so yeah i feel like a year from now you're going to be very happy you're going to be in a better place you are going to be in a place where you are more happy, more abundant, more caring. I feel like this situation, in from a year from now, it may flourish. And we have let go. So, yeah. Think about what you need to let go of, Virgo. What is it that you need to let go of? Is it just this person? Or is there other things in your life that you need to let go of? Um, but let go of that energy to free yourself up from the good things that are coming. Because good things are coming, Virgo. I feel like this year is going to be your year. Let go of people and things that, you know, just you totally outgrown. And look for the helpful people in your life. We all have them, you know. There's always people in our life to where, you know, we have a shoulder to lean on. And I, I feel like whatever situation that you're in, your friends, sometimes your family, um, but I feel like there's someone that you can talk to about your situation and someone who's willing to listen. This person is coming through. That may be your helpful person, you know. <clears throat> Let's get some angel guidance for Virgo. What angel guidance do we have? What angel guidance do we have for Virgo in love? Okay, we have Mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous so solutions to appear. So yeah, that's this Eight of Wands energy, Virgo. Keep charging ahead. Be assertive. We have assertive right here. Be assertive. Keep going ahead. Don't move back. Don't go back to the past, Virgo. The past is dead and gone. It's done. It's over with. You're on a new journey of discovery with the full card here you're you're taking new risks you're um taking a new journey exploring new options and i feel like it's paying off definitely paying off okay what else do we have for virgo we have azure your desired outcome will occur 
in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. Yeah, everything's going to come in divine timing, Virgo. We don't want to force things to happen because, you know, forcing things to fit into your life when they're not intended to fit, you'll just have to end up letting it go. So, yeah, that is very good advice. And we have Serafina. And just like I said, I feel like this person that you're meeting, I feel like this person has children. This person is a single parent. And I, Serafina, I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. So yeah, like I said, I feel like you are starting a brand new journey. Virgo, this year is going to come with a lot of new discoveries, a lot of new exploration, um, and a, a lot of new love. I feel like you are growing. You're expanding. You're making your plans, Virgo, and it's really exciting to see. It's really a blessing to see that Virgo is spiritually aware of what's going on if this is your reading virgo if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and if it resonates please share 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 and have a happy new year virgo many blessings to you love and light